Well, on the International Space Station, uh, no one's been up there that long. Uh, so far, the longest flight, I think, is 220 or days or around there. The uh, Russians have had cosmonauts that have spent a year, and in some cases, a little bit longer in space, but this is the first time we're doing it on the space station. And, uh, you know, the reason behind it is just expanding our envelope and understanding about how people can live and work in space for longer periods of time. And um, the way I got selected, I guess, you know, like a lot of things, is part, uh, you know, part ability, part luck, part timing. You know, I, I can't really comment on, on what would ever happen down the road because that's pretty pretty open-ended. I know today we get along very well. Um, you know, I wouldn't want to be flying in space in the Soyuz with any two other guys besides Gennady Padalka and, and Misha Kornienko right now. Uh, the politics of, of what might be going on between our two countries is something that we don't even discuss you know, we need to rely on one another for, you know, literally for our lives. So, you know, all that, that other stuff is not, not important to any of us. It's 14 people that you'll spend time with throughout the year. So you miss, you know, your friends and family on Earth. Um, you also miss being able to leave, you know, being able to go outside your, your place of work. It's kind of like you're at work 24-7 for, for a whole year. So those are, I think, the things I'll miss, miss the most.